Hello, welcome to this week's Dividend Cafe. It's been a uh, shortened week in the market. We're filming here on Thursday afternoon, and the market was closed on Monday for Memorial Day. So, so far, only three days of market action, but kind of a lot of punch packed into all that. The market was up about 135 points today and had been down a bit yesterday. So we're, we're up about 75 points on the week uh, with some, some fair movements around that. The thing I want to kind of focus on this week, because there weren't any particular big earnings announcements, um, from a market standpoint, there hasn't been any big news headlines. Um, the announcement this afternoon very widely expected that President Trump would be pulling the United States out of the Paris Accord that President Obama had signed, dealing with some of the climate change and environmental uh, regulatory issues and things of that nature. First of all, it wasn't a big surprise. I don't think it has a lot of market impact, um, even though it's a newsworthy event. And we'll have some other comments on that later. We haven't had enough time to digest and process kind of his whole counter initiative that uh, he just got done laying out. But um, essentially, I think the more important issue right now as it pertains to investors and the types of things that you watch these videos to get from me have to do with some of the basic ABCs behind why we manage money the way we do. And week by week, sometimes there may be Federal Reserve announcements and there may be earnings and, and market valuation adjustments and things of that nature that drive a more uh, contemporary response. But really, I, I don't want to lose sight of the basic underlying belief system we have at the Bonson Group regarding growth of dividend equities as the primary uh, core strategy by which an investor can achieve cash flow and by which an investor can achieve growth of portfolio and do so in what we think is an optimal risk-reward context. Uh, there is a big movement right now in the stock market investing space around passive management. And this happens every time that uh, markets have had an extended uh, period of benign and, and decent returns. Um, all things being equal, I have maintained throughout my entire career that if one could buy the S&P 500, take a nap for about 20 years and wake up, that there's a very, very, very high likelihood that they would have done quite well. Uh, we have had 10-year periods where the S&P was essentially flat and uh, because the first 10 years of my career were one of those 10-year periods. Um, I have always resisted this notion of passive equity investing being a free ride. Uh, we did quite well, in my opinion, in those 10 years, but we didn't do it by we just buying the whole market and closing our eyes. And, and yet, when the whole market is going higher, doing that can generate a perfectly acceptable outcome. And so our belief about dividend growth investing parlays into our belief uh, for active management and because dividend growth investing cannot be done passively. There are so many companies not paying a dividend, so many companies paying a questionable dividend payout ratio, meaning a portion of their earnings in dividends that may not be sustainable. There are so many companies that have room to grow their payout ratio. There are uh, There is such an increase in dividends that's taken place across the whole market, but not necessarily spread in the way you might think across different components of a market. All of these things uh, require an active approach. At DividendCafe.com this week, I have about six or seven different charts. They kind of hit this point home as to why we believe so strongly, not only in the underlying philosophy of dividend growth investing, but doing so actively. I think it's a, a, an important piece we certainly take seriously the realities of inflation and the long-term impact on purchasing power, even in periods of very mild and benign inflation like we've been in for a long time. And we believe there's, there's data in DividendCafe.com this week that will show you that just from the S&P 500, the actual income it's kicking off has increased 65-fold since World War II. Inflation has been about 12 times, 12 fold. So you got over five times superior um, result from, from the dividends alone out of the market versus the negative impact of inflation. So these are the things that we want our clients and those that listen to this uh, video to understand. And we think the website this week has some really great material about that. Glad to have shared some of that with you this week. 
Uh, next week, I would anticipate that there will be more news headline stuff to cover. We'll leave it there for this week. Thank you for checking out Dividend Cafe. We look forward to talking to you more again next week.